Hey everyone, I'm back in my office today because I got something delivered in the mail, which is pretty cool. I've always liked the idea of buying one of these and um, they're kind of expensive and it's a bit of a toy, but at the same time, what's life without buying something stupid every now and then? So this is a JetCat P200 RX turbine. I think that's right. I'm not 100% sure on all the letters before and after, but we go ahead and unbox it so you can see what it looks like. And um, Suddenly, one of these days, I'm going to go ahead and start up as well, too, but it'll be a different video. This is just going to be the unboxing and taking a look at all the little pieces of it. Here we go. Alright, so I bought this from a company in Florida. I think they're the U.S. distributor for it. It's like $4,700. So it's pretty expensive, and again, it's very not usable it's absolutely a toy but uh it should be fun to play with <laughs> that is way bigger than i thought it would be okay let's just pull this right out <laughs> okay that is ridiculous this is an actual jet engine oh my gosh I thought it was going to be way smaller than this. Oh, did they send me the right one? This is... Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is so cool. Look at this thing. Okay, I'm going to move to the box because I have a better view. Holy crap. The size of this thing, you it's hard to understand how big it is. I know I'm getting my fingerprints all over it. Check it out. Can you see the turbine blades in there? The centrifugal compressor, and then check it out. Here's the exhaust. 100, I think 35,000 RPM and 1500 degrees uh, of Fahrenheit coming out. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, um, hang on, I'll be right back. I gotta show my wife this. Here she comes, hang on. Katie. It's purple. Do not drop it. Okay, I'll try. It's five thousand dollars. Whoa, this is huge. Right? I thought it'd be <laughs> way smaller. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I thought it was gonna look more like industrial. It's just like a super contained. Yeah, two hands. Cylinder thing. Yeah. So funny story the other day, I um took one of my wife's eggs from her chickens. I was like, ha ha ha! I'm not gonna drop. It. I threw it up in the air and I missed it, and I dropped on the floor and it cracked. So I don't want her to get me back for that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Isn't that awesome? Gentle, gentle, gentle. How does it how does it work? Okay, so the black thing in the middle. What is that thing? It's exhaust gas temperature port. <gasps> Wait, take a look at the front side. So this black part here, yeah. it's a really heavy duty motor, which will spin that to 40,000 RPM Ooh. so it can just turn on. I didn't see that thing. And yeah, the fuel goes into here. Into the blue? Yeah, it just says fuel right next to it. This will make yes, it does. 52 pounds of thrust. That to... doesn't compute in my brain. So think of it, I know it doesn't not really one to one, it has to be at 186 miles per hour to convert, but um, essentially 50 horsepower. So is this the only time I can look at it like this? Yes, otherwise I'd melt your face off. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, I don't want to hurt it. Okay, hold on, let me put my camera down okay. because I don't want to, <laughs> two hands. <laughs> wow. It's not as heavy as I expected it for how big it is. Well, it's designed for remote control planes. Um, okay, hang on. Oh, can you go put my screen over? And this thing you can hear from two miles away. Awesome. So I can really piss off the neighbors. Look at this thing. Have you gone through the other pieces? No, I just pulled this out. So I thought I was gonna Look go through all the other bits, but okay, yeah, show them that. Look how cute this is. It comes with the remote control. Well, you plug into the lamp thing in the back, like the bloop, telephone bloop. thing. Bloop, bloop. But oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm trying to smell it, see if it smells like kerosene. Not really. What's this tiny thing? Um, I have no idea. I'm not sure. Oh, that's a fuel pump. Oh, cute. Yeah, see the little. Here, take out the plastic. Okay. Here, I'm gonna put this back in here so I don't hurt it. This is like the coolest, dumbest thing I've ever bought. So that's the fuel pump. Get your face out of it so it'll focus. Actually, you should probably cut this part out. Here, redo this with a. I'm gonna so leave here is the 
fuel pump. Uh, it's a little electric motor that pushes the fuel to it, but it also connects to the computer so you can know how much fuel to pump to it. Um, a bunch of other parts. I have no idea what these are for. Oh, I think these are for plugging into your fuel tank for your RC turbine aircraft, which we're not going to be doing. This is for something different. You'll love it, though. Um, fuel hose. Oh, this is cool. Here's how you clamp it to something. This is uh, what you clamp it with. And then a bunch of data port cards or cords or whatever to plug things into. So a bunch of those. I don't know what these are for. Um, oh, this looks like your um, controller box to uh, control the engine from your transmitter. Yeah, and then this Jetronic GSU something. So this is how you, I think you turn it on or off. I'm not really sure. This is really, really cool. Oh, and something else as well too. Oh, there's a bunch of random stuff I've never seen before. Um, I really hope it came with a manual because I don't know how any of this stuff works. And I just got to play with it until I figure it out. Oh, that guy. Not sure what that's for. Um, Okay, there's absolutely no instruction manual with this. I didn't see one on here. Maybe it's online only. I'll find that out. But um, but yeah, well, that's pretty darn cool. I gotta do a lot of research on this. I don't know what I bought, but I'm gonna have a load, a huge amount of fun with this thing. So I am super excited for this. I'll keep you up to date. But thanks so much for watching and getting because. What I'm going to be doing with this, you're not going to be expecting it. And um, this is not going to be attached to my airplane. I will not attach to the Sonics, just in case you're wondering. I'm not going to do anything super dangerous, just marginally fun dangerous. So um, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll keep up to date with this. Talk to you all soon.